All right, we got a 2014 Chevy Volt. It has code P00B7, which is coolant flow performance. Interesting code. So on the thermostat on this vehicle, there's a sensor before and after the thermostat uh, that's gonna tell us the temperature. And if there's too much of a differential, uh, the computer's gonna assume that there's poor flow. That could mean that you have a bad thermostat. But one thing that's, that's very unique about the setup on the Volt is there's actually a heater built into the thermostat. So under heavy load, it wants to just fully open the thermostat, uh, and it does that by manually heating a old-style wax pellet thermostat. Uh, so interesting setup. We're just gonna pull this puppy out, replace it, clear the code, and see if it returns. We are also suspicious that maybe one of those, or both of those temperature sensors could be at fault. Uh, this is easy, it's right on top. It's a cheap part. Instead of going too crazy with the diagnosis and the oscilloscopes, I'm just gonna pop this in and see if that does it. All right. All right, now that the air box is out of the way, we have easy access to the thermostat. I've got the pan under there. I'm gonna definitely lose some coolant. These are these special E-bolts. So I've got the special socket and a kind of an oddball clip there. Here's our special socket. It's basically a reverse Torx and uh, it fits right on there. These are actually called E, just the letter E is the name of that socket. Ready? Ah! Really stuck in there pretty good, so I'm gonna twist and pull. <clears throat> there. Here's our old one. Oh, look at that. The O-ring stuck to the engine side. That would have sucked to not notice and put two stacked up and it would leak everywhere. You know, this is a standard wax pellet thermostat when it has hot coolant, it opens because the wax expands. So it pushes the thermostat open and allows coolant to flow. But additionally, it has this heater. So the computer can command it to open by heating the wax pellet by sending power to it. Done a little autopsy on this component. It's got a spring that holds it closed, housing. And here is the wax pellet, and those two wires are the heater element. Here's our new one. Looks the same. Put this guy on there. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so our last step is to refill the coolant. We're gonna just uh, pour this pre-diluted Dexcool in. And being this is a Chevy Volt, if we wanna force the engine to run, all we have to do is ready up the car with the hood open and it'll run the engine continuously. So that'll allow us to warm it up, check for leaks, make sure air bubbles come out. So we'll go ahead and fill. We're warming up, we scanned again, no fault codes have returned. We're gonna drive a little and make sure, but I think we're all good. I assume that the issue was that that little heater element within the thermostat has burnt out. So, uh, I think we're good. <laughs>